The subject of today's story is one of the most unappreciated soul groups from the 70s that gave us one hell of a legend. Before we get started in today's video, please be sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and push that notification bell to stay up to date. Now, without further ado, let's cue that intro. In the early 50s, Harold Melvin would create a music group called The Charlemagne's in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, with members Bernard Williams, Roosevelt Brody, Jesse Gills Jr., and Franklin Peeker. In 1954, the group they would change their names to the Blue Notes. The group they would release multiple singles for various labels during the 50s and early 60s, including the 1960 single My Hero. I love you too. And that 1965 hit single, Get Out and Let Me Cry. Don't try to spare my feelings, just get out. During the 60s, the group they would encounter a conflict. Bernard Williams, he would leave and start up his own group called the Original Blue Notes. With Williams' departure, Melvin, he would hire John Actons to sing lead. The group they would change their name again during the late 60s to Harold Melvin and the Blue Notes. Now the group, they will frequently collab with another local group called the Cadillacs, who featured a young drummer named Teddy Pendergrass. Now Pendergrass, he became more involved with the Blue Notes and finally became a member, singer backup. Pendergrass' ability to sing had quickly impressed everyone and Melvin, he had chose him to be the new lead singer after John Atkins left the group in 1970. The group, they needed a great voice like Pendergrass to push them over the edge. So, the Pendergrass becoming the lead singer, the group they were laying a record deal with Philadelphia International Records in 1972. Harold Melvin, Teddy Pendergrass, Loris Brown, Bernard Wilson, who later rejoined at this time, Lori Parks was the members of the group. In 1972, the group, they were released three singles titled, Never Gonna Leave You, Never Gonna Leave You, so you never I Miss You, And if you don't know me by now. The group's debut album, I Miss You, was released that same year and had peaked at number 53 on the Billboard 200 charts and number 4 on the Billboard Top R&B Albums charts. That following year, the group that issued two additional singles with Yesterday I Had The Blues, and The Love I Lost. In 1973, group, they would release another album titled Black and Blue, which peaked at 57 on the Billboard Top 200 charts and number five on the Billboard Top R&B Albums charts. That next year, the group, they would produce another single called Satisfaction Guaranteed. Satisfaction Guaranteed to take your love back. Later on that year, Lloyd Parks would leave the group and was replaced by Jerry Cummins. In 1975, the group never released two more albums titled To Be True, which peaked at number 26 on the Billboard 200 charts and number one on the Billboard Top R&B Albums charts, as well as Going Certified Gold. Wake Up Everybody, that peaked at number nine on the Billboard 200 charts and number one on the Billboard Top R&B Albums charts, earning it a certified platinum certification. Even though the group was at its peak of its success, the group, they still made adjustments by bringing in Jerry Cummins and Cheryl Page. Teddy Pendergrass, at this time, he wanted to go solo. The moment he joined the group, Pendergrass, he sung all of the group songs. He was the reason people were sitting down in seats. Because he had all of the songs, he wanted the group to be named after him. So, in 1975, they decided to rename the group Harold Melvin and the Blue Notes featuring Teddy Pendergrass. He definitely wanted to stand out because fans, they were often confused on with Melvin because Melvin's name was front and center, but on stage, we all see Pendergrass. At the same time, Melvin, he was in charge of the group money, which disputes and arguments really became frequent. At this point, there was no rescuing the group, and Pendergrass, he decided 
to quit the group in 1975, and he would go on to have a very, very successful solo career. After Pendergrass left, Melvin had brought in David Ebo to fill in some big shoes. The group that would leave PRR and sign with ABC Records. After Pendergrass' departure, the group, they really didn't achieve much success. The group had recorded two albums on the ABC Records with Reaching for the World that peaked at number 56 on the Billboard 200 charts and number 15 on the Billboard Top R&B Albums charts. And lastly, now is the time that peaked at number 50 on the Billboard Top R&B Albums charts. Now, Gil Saunders, he will take over as lead singer in 1982, replacing David Ebo. Now, under Saunders, the group, they would really become popular in the UK. From 1980 to 1984, the group, they would release three more albums. The first was the Blue Album that was released in 1980 that peaked at number 95 on the Billboard 200 charts and number 15 on the Billboard Top R&B Albums charts. The 1981 album, titled All Things Happen in Time that peaked at number 47 on the Billboard Top R&B Albums charts. And lastly, the 1984 album, Talk It Up, Tell Everybody, which peaked at number 42 on the Billboard Top R&B Albums charts. In 1996, Saunders, he would leave the group. And Melvin, he would continue the tour with various uh, different lineups until 1996, when he had suffered from a stroke. The Blue Notes experienced numerous of uh, sad deaths, including the founding member, Harold Melvin, who passed on March 24th, 1997 at the age of 57. Lawrence Brown, who passed on April 6, 2008 at the age of 63. In 2010, the group, they will lose three more members, beginning with Teddy Pendergrass, who passed on January 13th, 2010 at the age of 59 from respiratory failure. Six months later, on July 13th, 2010, an original member, Roosevelt Brody, had passed at the age of 75. And just five months later, on December 26, 2010, Bernard Wilson would pass at the age of 64 for complications of a stroke and a heart attack. John Actors, he would pass of an aneurysm in 1998. And David Ebro, he would pass for bone cancer on November 30th, 1993 at the age of 43. Sharon Page would pass in 2020. And Gil Saunders would pass on February 4th, 2021. Now the Blue Notes only surviving members are Lori Parts, Jerry Cummins, and Barrett and Bobby Cook. The group that was honored into the Vocal Group Hall of Fame in 2007. Now the Blue Notes are still active to this day, and they will be performing under the name Harold Melvin's Blue Notes. Now the Blue Notes are a very underrated group. They had many, many hits and gave us a hell of a legend, as in Teddy Pendergrass. And out of all the groups from the 70s, I really feel like the Blue Notes are one of the groups that really don't get appreciated enough. To me, the Blue Notes are really unsung.